If you listen to a conspiracy theorist, then they'll tell you that all modern bikes are made out of plastic and are rolling off the production line from one factory in China. To be fair, I can sort of see where they're coming from. A lot of the recent superbikes do look eerily similar. However, in typical Italian fashion, there is a mark that claims to do things a bit differently. If you haven't already guessed, then this is the Colnago headquarters, a place steeped in history and yet proving year after year that it's more than capable of creating lust-worthy modern bikes as well as those capable of keeping the world's best at the front of the field. So, how do they do it? What goes into the making of a bike that manages to set itself apart from the competition? And what's next for one of the most famous cycling brands in the world? Well, in this video, we're going to find out. When you think of Colnago, you might think of Pogaccia's bright yellow V3 RS, which could possibly be the last ever rim brake bike to win the Tour de France. You might think of Eddie Merckx's famous hour record setting bike that weighed just 5.75 kilos. You might think of the C40, the first carbon fiber bike to win a Grand Tour and also the first to win at Paris-Roubaix. This one has a pure gold head tube emblem. Perhaps the V4 RS, winning just about everything under the sun with UAE Team Emirates. Arms up, high fives out, drops down, there he is, down 70%, arms up, the whole square is in ecstasy, what a performance, what a man, and he stops, raises his bike, well, it's an extraordinary thing. But personally, I think about the C68, a bike that just seems a little bit more special than anything else currently on the market. But why? It certainly doesn't claim to be the fastest bike in the world, nor the lightest, and yet everyone wants one. Where better to start than where it's made? This is Cambiago, just outside Milan in Italy, and it's here that the C68 and new C68 gravel are made. Well, other than the bits that are made down the road. The C68 starts off its life as sheets of carbon fibre in Veneto. These are then painstakingly turned into tubes by winding and laying the carbon fibre into moulds. As with all carbon fibre, this then has to be cured in this rather menacing looking autoclave, which puts the carbon under extreme heat and pressure to drive out any air and get that perfect finish. One thing that sets the C-Series bikes apart from others is that unlike most modern carbon bikes, including the V4 RS, the C-Series has a traditional lugged construction. Now, you might think that this is because Colnago has been left behind and is stuck in the past, but that couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, Colnago is just as pioneering today as it has been over the last 70 years. Did you know that it was Colnago that was one of the first to introduce disc brakes to the road scene with the C-59 back in 2012? To get an idea of just how capable a bike that was, check out Road Bike Party 2. Usually the design phase is uh, made up of different phases. Uh, in particular, the first, uh, the, the first phase is usually made uh, by hand, uh, hand drawing some sketches yeah. because only by hand drawing you can see the bicycle in a wall. You can see uh, the proportion, you can see what, it, uh, what the, in, the, in the wall the bicycle looks like. Yeah. Otherwise, if you start the modeling with some uh, precise, uh, very precise software and CAD software, you just focus on, on details and you miss the whole, uh, the whole picture. Of course, in the further steps of the, of the design, we also double check the performance thanks to CAE uh, software, CFD for aerodynamics. Yeah. And uh, when there are some prototypes now, thanks also to the 3D printed, 3D printing technology, we can go in the wind tunnel even in the early design uh, phase. In the present day, Colnago has embraced innovative technology, and whilst the two-part adhesives wouldn't look out of place holding a spaceship together, I think it's these 3D printed titanium lugs which look straight out of the future. Titanium is a very resistant material and uh, is resisting also both to the, uh, static and the dynamic stresses. Coupling the performance of the titanium with the technology of the 3D printing, you can achieve a very, very complex shape by keeping also the, the thickness very, very small. How this affect the bicycle performance? Of course, from a weight point of view. On the other hand, thanks to uh, 3D printing, the uh, customization is uh, almost maximum. In fact, this bicycle is offered with uh, some geometry customization that are covering mainly all the, all the different riders that uh, would like to 
enjoy such a riding experience. Whether you choose carbon fiber or titanium lugs on your C-Series bike, everything turns up here in Cambiago, ready for assembly. There's actually far fewer machines here than you might expect. Conago hand make a great deal of each frame, which is particularly impressive given that the tolerances can't exceed 0.15 millimeters. By maintaining small tolerances, the joint and the glue and the, the carbon tubes uh, can work in, uh, in, uh, in, the design, uh, in the design parameter, which make the, the, the coupling uh, very robust and very precise that is translated directly into, uh, more, into more strength, of course, and better riding quality. Furthermore, by maintaining small tolerances, all the steps that are required to finish, uh, to have a good finishing of the bicycle, are kept to the, to the minimum because all this extra work, of course, uh, they are affecting the, the overall uh, robustness and the overall quality of the, of the product itself because it's, it's uh, about adding not necessary material or removing some extra material. The next step is to put the carbon tubes and lugs together to make something that begins to resemble a bike. And to help out the skilled workers, they use these jigs, which ensure that each bike is the perfect size. The result of all that bonding is this, a frame that weighs just 925 grams or 10 grams more for the titanium lugged version. From here, these rows of frames will then head off to Tuscany for their final paint job before returning here to Cambiago for their final assembly. Look at these. Each one has been designed on the Colnago online configurator. And if you're bored and have five minutes, then you can design yours for free using the link in the description below. The result is a bike that's bang on the money for a Tour de France bike. And when we reviewed the C68 Road earlier in the year, Stu only had high praise for its stunning looks, build quality, and ride characteristics. In fact, Stu said that for a bike of this style, the handling isn't as quick or twitchy as you'd expect. And by backing things off a touch, Colnago has created a bike that can be ridden fast through the bends without it being a handful. Stu concluded with the fact that the C68 is a stunning bike to ride, both in terms of how it behaves and the ride feel. There is an impressive level of refinement in the ride quality, even on poor UK roads. High praise indeed. A successful bike, of course, depends on the, the final user that uh, the bicycle is aimed to. For example, talking about pure performance, race-oriented user, a successful bike means aerodynamics, means stiffness, means uh, lightness and uh, performance to make uh, the rider faster in the end. Talking about C-Series, which is uh, dedicated not to pure uh, uh, performance and race-oriented bicycle, what matters is the quality of the ride. For example, uh, by using the technology uh, of uh, bonding uh, lugs, uh, you can explore uh, different technology on one single bicycle in order to make uh, the, final, uh, the final quality ride at the top level for such, uh, such users. As a bicycle designer and mechanical engineer, I'm, uh, I'm working uh, both on the models that are pure performance oriented and going into the wind tunnel, uh, doing some simulation, uh, co cooperating with university, but on the other end, working on more traditional model and uh, exploring without the, the pressure of the 0.5 grams uh, of, uh, of weight, uh, new technology and new, new, new riding performances. Colnago then is a brand that isn't afraid of going its own way. Whilst others fight over the title of lightest, most aero, etc., Colnago is quietly innovating the bikes that people want, whether you're Tadej Pogacar or an amateur like me who just loves bikes. So what in your mind makes riding or owning a Colnago special? Hey, this is really something uh, particular. In Italian we say the magia, so the magic. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessarily always some tangible, mm -hmm. you know, things. It's very also untangible, okay? Because, you know, when you ride a Conago, you, you ride a brand with a great legacy, again, with a great heritage. You, you are riding a bicycle with a great style, with a lot of history. We have a group of people that think 24-7 only about drop bars. So when you buy a Conago, you buy a drop bar bicycle, and this is really true because this is what we are able to do. We don't have in mind uh, 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 too much uh, extension to other segments. So I think our specialization is very, very interesting and make us a unique brand in some way. If you had to pick one bike 
past or present from the Conago range, which one would it be? But, uh, before we were measuring the 635, it was really an iconic bike. Uh, but, you know, it was the first uh, carbon bike produced in the world. So that was really a big milestone for us. But now I like to say, talk about the modern bikes and this uh, dual approach that we have in the market, because in some way we are C, so uh, an Italian uh, carbon frame produced in Italy. On the other side, we have a V. So the two bikes for my, are iconic important and I think uh, the beauty of Colnagua is able to interpret it to give answer to two different and very distinctive personas. Bike designs changed quite a lot in the past decade. Um, where do you see Colnago going next? Well, first of all we have really to exploit all our potential in the drop bar categories. We are for sure a very important and successful player on road we just are now reinforcing our strength on gravel. But let's say that we have to be present in really all the drop bar categories. So I see track, I see triathlon, and this is where we are going to focus. So what's next for Konaga? But I believe the next is to continue doing what we are doing right now. And so be real, we are true with our consumers. The mission to become the most desirable brand in cycling uh, to be very exclusive, uh, special, high-end. This is uh, next, and that uh, in some way are the values and uh, that we are already trying to achieve right now. Let us know which Colnago you'd most like in your garage in the comments section below. If you like this content, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tech deep dives. We'll see you next time.